A Henrico teen now home safe and sound, but her alleged abductor still on the run. Police rescued 15-year-old Ronique Poteet last night after stopping a car on I-95. Officers also arresting the driver, this woman, but the whereabouts of her half-brother, Tyrell Davenport, still a mystery. Madison McNamee continues to follow this story with all of its twists and turns. She's live now from the neighborhood where this all began. Jasmine Kurt, this is the complex where Petite was taken from late Wednesday night, and it's around 20 minutes or so from where she was found. People living around here certainly relieved and excited to welcome her back to this community, but some people telling me they're still a little uneasy, seeming as there's more to this story. Oh my gosh, relief, relief. Ironwood Townhomes is a quiet setting Friday afternoon, but filled with relief. It made me nervous because I have children and to think that a child was abducted so close to home was definitely something that was of major concern for me. A very different mood compared to Wednesday night when police say 15 year old Ronique Petit was taken from here against her will by her half brother Tyrell Davenport. So at this point we have taken one adult female into custody. She was the driver of the vehicle that was stopped on I-95 South last night, uh, which also had the juvenile uh, in inside the vehicle where she was located safely. But Petit's half brother is still on the run. Henrico police encouraging the community to help because tips are what police say led them to Erlisha Williams car, allowing them to conduct a traffic stop on I-95 near the Chamberlain Avenue exit Thursday night. We did have um, her transported to an area hospital for evaluation, and this was really just because we needed to make sure she was okay, given what had unfolded over the last 24 hours. Police tell us Williams and Petit know each other, but they're not sure how yet. I'm told most people keep to themselves in Petit's neighborhood. It's why most neighbors I talked to did not personally know her, but they were all praying she would get back safe like she did. If someone is willing to do that to their own family member, then potentially, you know, like I don't know what their mindset is or what, what their goal is to when they do it. So it could be any kid when in my head. Neighbors tell me this quiet setting is the norm for Ironwood townhomes, and it's how they hope this complex stays from here on out. Because that's not always the ending to every story. So I'm glad she's back. Alicia Williams is now behind bars on several charges, including abduction, though police still looking for Davenport. If you have any information on where he may be, go ahead and give them a call or you can just call 911. Any tips that lead to an arrest could have an award of up to $1,000. Live in Highland Springs, Madison McNamee, 12 on your side. Thank you, Madison.